Three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. TTM Trades, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at ticker DCIX, Deanna Container Ships. Uh, the stock is known for the move that it made earlier this year, back on November 2nd. And we're currently on a two-hour chart, as you can see. But back on November 2nd, uh, the stock hit a low of $1.56. Uh, within four days, it went from $1.56 to $28.48. Now, to those who really don't know what type of money you could have made off that move, and, and be mindful, that move happened in four days. Let's just say you had ten grand. See, I already did the math right here. But let's just say you had ten grand. You bought ten thousand dollars worth of shares at a dollar fifty-six of DCIX. That gave you six thousand four hundred and ten shares of this stock. Within four days, your stock would have been worth twenty-eight dollars. And let's just say you sold them at that price range. You would have made a hundred and seventy-nine grand in four days. It's possible. So how do you identify these moves? In the uh, stock market how do you know when to make your entries and take your profits big thing right here with this one so like we said they made the big move a lot of people took profit up here hey i would have too if i got in this stock and now the stock is in a downtrend now it looks like we found a nice base here in the high five low sixes a lot of accumulation buyers are coming in showing that they like this price range um, shorts are still in here. Some of them you can tell are covering their shares, especially right here. Had a nice spike in volume. Uh, the price is starting to get pushed up, and shorts cover their shares and push the price back down. So, right now, what I see is shorts are covering and holding the price down so they can get out, and then at the same time, buyers are coming in and accumulating. So, as long as we can hold this low six. Uh, high five dollar range of support because I believe we'll come back down and test this one more time I don't think there'll be a major jump this week for the rest of the week I think we'll have nothing but accumulation so there may be a retest of the six dollar range which is why I would set my entry at try to get in and then hold for next week because if we kick over to the daily all right so now looking at the daily you can see this here is the 50 period moving average as you can see looking at the daily we found nice support right on that 50 period moving average that was a nice dip to 582 uh pulled back right above the 50 period moving average and then closed same here open above the 50 period moving average with a nice spike came back down and closed again above the 50 period moving average so it looks like we're maintaining above it uh with the volume increasing so there's a lot of accumulation right here with buyers coming in. This move right here, this candlestick tells me that buyers came in and began pushing the price a lot higher than the shorts expected, which maybe caused a lot of shorts to cover their shares and push this back down. So with the share with the shorts exiting this stock, it allows the buyers to come in and accumulate more shares with a good chance of pushing it back up. Like I said, I don't think we may have a major move this week. But if you wanted to make an entry and take your chances, I would say make it now during this week while you're in the low, uh, low sixes. Oh man, excuse me, ate some food, got me tripping. While you're in the low sixes now and prepare for the move next week. If you set your stop losses, I would definitely set my stop losses right below the 582, maybe right around 575. Uh, in case they try to shake out anybody and trigger everybody's stop losses, I set a little bit below the 582 and hold for the move next week. And maybe even, depending on you know how much you're trying to make, set my profit target right around this 1154 range. And if you break through the 1154 first Bollinger Band on high volume, hold until you hit the next one right around 1645. But it looked like there's a lot of buyers coming in and accumulating shares. So till next time. TTM Trades, subscribe, and let me know how you do. Listen, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.